What's going on guys? Texan Effect back with another video. I have a question. Has your webcam on your laptop computer stopped working all of a sudden? Well, I'm going to show you how to fix that issue. I'm going to be using a Lenovo computer or a Lenovo laptop to fix the issue. So let's jump right into it. So if you have a Lenovo laptop, there's some pre-installed software called Lenovo Vantage. In the lower left corner of your PC, you should see the search for anything area. You can type in Lenovo Vantage in that area. So I have that all typed in and I'm going to open up the Lenovo Vantage. This is the welcoming page. I'm going to go ahead and select next. And then I'm going to go ahead and select done. And if you focus on the upper right corner, you see three bars. That's your menu. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the menu. And once I open up the menu, I'm going to go down to device and then I'm going to select my device settings. But first I need to expand the web page so you can see it. So let me go ahead and expand this page. And as you can see, there's devices. So I'm going to select device and then I'm going to go ahead and select my device settings. OK, now that I'm in my device settings, as you can see, they have some subtopics and different areas that you can explore. You have a power area. It tells you about the power of your PC. If you scroll down a little bit, it have power settings. And in this area, you can find information about the energy star rating as well as the battery life. So that's a cool feature to have for your PC. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll back up. And right under my device settings, you will see display and camera. So we're going to go ahead and pick that. And in this area, you can see if your webcam is working or not. So I'm going to scroll down. And as you can see, my webcam is not working with the infamous gray screen with a strike line going through the camera. So at this point, you can toggle off and on the privacy mode to see if the camera will start working properly. As you can see, mine is on. I'm going to cut it off and then I'm going to cut it back on and it's still not working. So that's one way you can troubleshoot to see if that will fix your issue. If not, we're going to go on to the next step. Keep in mind, if you ever want to live stream using your webcam, make sure your privacy mode is turned off. OK, so the next step in this troubleshooting process is we're going to go over to the device manager. And if you don't know how to go to your device manager, once again, in your lower left corner, just type in device or you can even type in device manager and it should show up. So I'm going to go ahead and type in device manager. And as you can see, here's my device manager. I'm going to right click on cameras. And then I'm going to select properties. As you can see, there is nothing there in the properties. It's just a description of the camera. So I'm going to go ahead and select OK. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on cameras. And as you can see, it says integrated cameras there. I'm going to right click it until I see properties. So go ahead and right click that and open up the properties menu. I'm going to select drivers, even though it's saying that the drivers are working properly. Right next to our drivers tab, you have a details tab and you have an events tab. This can sometimes give you an idea of what may be going on with your webcam, but we're not going to depend on those two tabs right now. So let's go back to our drivers tab. And what we're going to do right now, we're going to uninstall the integrated camera device. Also, check the box that says delete the driver software for this device. So as you can see, the integrated camera is uninstalling. And if you go back to your device manager, it's not there anymore. OK, now that we have all those things done, what we're going to do is we're going to restart the computer. And the reason we want to restart the computer is we're going to let Windows search for updated software for our camera. It's going to recognize that the camera is not there anymore. And it's also going to update the drivers for the webcam. So everything should work properly after we restart the computer. So I'm going to stop and pause for a second to restart the computer. And then we're going to come back to see what the results are.
Okay guys, now we're back. The computer is back on. So I'm going to go over to the search area and I'm going to type in camera. Okay, there's the camera app. Now I'm going to go ahead and open it. So select open. Now I need to open up my webcam tab. So guys, at the top of your laptop computer, there's a little toggle button right next to the webcam camera that can close and open the webcam. Make sure that that's on before you do any of this because your webcam could be working properly, but if that tab is closed, you won't see anything. And as you can see, my webcam is working properly. So I hope this video was helpful. Please like, subscribe, and share. And until the next time, I'm out of here.